Hello everybody, here's a quick look at my home brew rig. I'm going to split this up into departments uh, through the process from start to finish and here we go. Okay, so first of all, uh, sanitation department, very very important. We have a bottle washer, we've got a bottle tree, we have bottles that we clean up, we have uh, special sanitizing, no rinse, I'll be switching across to star sand when we can get that down here in Sydney. Uh, you'll want lots of measuring cups, buckets, uh, your bottle brushes etc. Uh, the old spray uh, dispenser here is a really really good idea for spot uh, cleaning surfaces. Uh, also head along to your chemist and grab one of these guys, a little syringe and this will give you exact measurements of the solutions that you're going to be mixing with water. Uh, I have lots of gadgets around the house and uh, I remember purchasing this guy quite a few years ago and nothing cleans like steam so my process is I give everything a good old clean of the surface with the steam and then I'll apply uh, the no rinse sanitizer to fix that. Okay moving across here to our ingredients that we're going to be mixing in this batch. A good friend of mine from the office, she loves a Mexican style beer. So we've got the Cooper's uh, Cerveza, Mexican. Uh, I'm really looking forward to trying that out because my last batch was the Canadian Pale Ale. We've got Dextrose. Uh, over here we have our Nottingham uh, Yeast. Apparently that's a very, very good brand. Uh, and to add a little bit of extra flavour along the way, we've got some finishing hops. Uh, good old Craig from Craig Tube, uh, one of the, I'd say, the master brewer of uh, YouTube. Uh, he's got some great videos. I encourage you all to go along and watch them. Uh, he's an absolute mountain of information and uh, he's got a really good uh, tip on making up a uh, finishing hops tea. Go along and check that out. Okay, moving down here, we've got our fermenter. Here we have the airlock inside our little barrel here. I like to keep all of my equipment pre-sanitized, ready to go for the next batch. So we'll mix our ingredients, 20 litres of water. And then, of course, what we want to do is we want to make sure that uh, our fermentation process has finished. So here's the science department. Uh, this is your hydrometer. This will give you an initial uh, starting uh, specific gravity. Uh, this is the beginning point and uh, through the brewing process, you can check that to make sure that your gravity is decreasing. It will also eventually indicate what sort of alcohol by volume. Uh, this guy is really, really handy as well. Uh, refractometer. Uh, this particular device will give you measurements in bricks and specific gravity. Uh, there are calculators on the web uh, as you go towards the end of your fermentation process for correction data. Over here we have uh, my good friend, uh, the engineering department. Uh, what you're going to find is when you start putting together your beer rig, you're going to need lots of boxes for everything. They have to be cleaned because they're all going to be coming in contact uh, with materials that you will eventually be drinking. Uh, here we have all the bibs and bobs. We've got plumber's tape, we've got male and female disconnects. Uh, this little particular guy is for calibrating your uh, soda stream bottle. That's really, really important. Uh, down below here, We've got shifters to make sure we're not going to be losing gas uh, out of our gas bottles. They're very expensive and you want to make sure. Additional sanitizer and we also have lots of spare tubes. Here we are at the packaging department. Uh, you'll be using carbonation drops uh, when you take your beer out of the fermenter. Put it into the bottle. A uh, couple of drops of those for this 750ml bottle. Put the crown seal on, cap it. This has a magnetized uh, little lip, so you don't have to worry about it. You just put your crown seal on, push it down. Uh, now here's my real favorite. Uh, I was looking for uh, a different solution other than just bottling uh, at a very reasonable price. And uh, through my research on YouTube, I came across uh, the iKega company uh, based out of here in Sydney. A gentleman called David is the proprietor over there. Uh, he really puts out good quality products. He's uh, a big beer guy. He loves to provide uh, people all around the world with top quality uh, equipment. This is a 10 litre keg. There's all sorts of different sizes and growlers and things of that nature. 
Uh, I power this with a 400 gram SodaStream bottle. Uh, I've got two of these, so when I'm running a cleaning process, I'll have them all hook, hooked up daisy chain style. And having uh, the small bottle is really convenient because I can take that away on holidays, drive the cleaning process, maybe filtering beer in the future. I'll put 10 litres of beer into a keg, the balance into bottles. So let's just see how this morning's uh, beer is pouring. This is a Cooper's product, it's uh, the Canadian Pale Ale. It's uh, been in the keg for a couple of weeks now. Uh, the bottles themselves have about another week to go before I'll be uh, tasting those. But as you can see, it's got some lovely carbonation there. Not too much, not too little. Have a quick taste. Very smooth drinking, probably about uh, four and a half, five percent alcohol by volume. It's got a lovely clear taste. And it's amazing how, clear, how that's cleared up since it came out of the fermenter a, a couple of weeks ago. It's beautiful drinking. And of course, uh, with our friend here, the Ikega keg, uh, this has got a special uh, new release as of uh, 2017 flow control tap. This adjusts the aperture. Uh, I pulled a, uh, a couple of glasses out of this this morning. It's time after time after time, picture perfect as you saw there. Combined with a 400 gram uh, soda stream bottle, it just gives you consistent results every time without running out of those little tiny, little tiny uh, gas bottles. Great to take away and I will be taking away. So to recap, uh, we've got our uh, cleaning and sanitizing department. We've got lots of uh, uh, measuring devices. Over here we have our ingredients. I've got them all in a specialized box, fermenter, science department, engineering department, carbonation drops cap, uh, for packaging, and our good friend the keg. I think this is a, a really great way to enjoy beer. I'm having so much fun uh, producing beer at home. Uh, in 2017, the average, this isn't, this isn't like the bottom line price, the average price of beer for 24 stubbies, a case of beer, is $45. That's a lot of money when you uh, look at things and you multiply that over the course of a year very worthwhile to get into home brewing so i'd like to say cheers to you all and have a very happy safe weekend ah, make sure you enjoy your home beer very responsibly